Hey you guys out there! I'm Michael. I'm George. And this is Vaping Cousin. Today we're reviewing the Smok X Pure RDA Dripper. Pure Oops. Dripper. That way. Pure okay. Dripper. And today we've got the Smok X Pure right here. This is the Dripper. Very lovely. So you got a lever effect just like the X Cube 2. Uh, on the back, you've got this serial, uh, not serial, you've got a barcode, you've got do not uh, keep away uh, out of reach of children and pets. Inside comes a dual, a 1.2 and a 0 0.20. 0 0.2, bloody ass, low. Um, dripper. So, unboxing. Da 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 da! And there you have it, there it is, uh, at its holy gloriness. Taking this out, we'll leave the mod in place, we'll show that off in a second. And in there, we've got a finger hole basher, so you can remove it. Very lovely. And in there, we've got an empty piece of plastic that I don't know. Oh, what was in there? Uh, I can't remember. It, there was something in there. So, I don't know, if you unbox one, yeah, you're gonna have a little surprise. Oh, it was the coil. No, I don't remember what was in it. Coil was in there. No, no, was, the coils came pre installed. Yeah, but they had silica coils in there. Oh, I don't know. Anywho, we've got the uh, instruction manual. Very lovely, very beautiful, very nice. Uh, this, I'm sorry, is so robust. This screw screwdriver is very thick, it's very fat, and also this is a special unlocking key that we will be showing you later on. And very most importantly, uh, what's left in this box again? It's another do not eat me bag. Ooh. Back to the main attraction of the unboxing, we have got the X Pure Dripper itself. Look at it. Just look at it. We've done a little modification, but it's normally not like that. But apart from that, look at it. And that's the unboxing, guys. Here we have the X Pure Dripper RDA from Smok. We have a lovely glass drip tip. Let's unscrew this. We're not going to do a build because this dripper to do a build is painful. Not necessarily. I'm sorry, this thing is annoying. We done this at Vape Fest when you done a build. Yeah, but we had 10 gauge. I tried uh -huh. to use a thicker one and my god. <laughs> uh, we have this like a wide bore k fun tunnel thingy. Okay. Then we have the outer barrel, which has your airflow regulation. There's a hole on the back. Bear in mind, it's not this big. Well, what what I've done is uh, I was getting pissed off with airflow because it was so small. So you you I penetrated it with a chicholina. Yes, I picked up my drill and I went like wow on it, and now I have a proper hole that I can actually call an airflow hole. Uh, where are you going? Stay there. I know this looks like a lot of cotton, but that's how they tell you to put it. They tell you to put the cotton in the top and. Yeah, so of the coils, all the deck, the base of it, everything is ceramic, which is a good and a bad idea at the same time. You have two screws. Let me just put this out a bit so you guys see. You see a screw there? You have one screw one side, one screw the other side. Let's put the cotton out of the way to hold the ceramic deck in place. And actually, the screws on the top, the negative and the positives, also screw into the bottom part. The negative screw into the body, the positive screws into the actual pin of the 510. So let's put this thing back in. Oh, to hold your screws, there is no holes in the post because this thing has no posts whatsoever. This coil, this coil, this cotton is very. Hmm. Using some bacon right there, my cotton bacon. Uh, it's very liquidy but it doesn't matter let me just put it to the side so you guys see you see the posts we're going back in time into holding the wire with the screws underneath the screws that's why this thing is horrendous or horrendously 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 horrendous terrible it's horrific it's horrific to do a build on it it's terrible uh, yeah, all the three posts are the same. The airflow is a slot at the bottom underneath the coil. You can only do it offset on the side. 
other side is exactly the same. You can only do dual coils in here unless you block the airflow somehow. I don't know how. Um, what else is to say about this? Uh, you have four air holes. One, two, three, four. Because the air flows in a weird way. Man, my, my fingers are very liquid. Let me just clean them a bit. I was feeling very... Uh, yeah. Very... Uh. Uh, outer barrel. Airflow adjustment is there. Let me show how this works. Where's the key? You will need this special key that comes with it. The key I was talking to you about. It's a triangular slot. You put it in there. Come on, Mike. Get in there. Come on now. There we are. There we go. Oh, it actually stays there. And you can regulate it from minimum to maximum. All it does is opens a window. Let me just close it off. I don't know if you guys can see. It's closed right now. And now I'll just open it up. That reminds me of Tomb Raider, where she has to have that special key to unlock. Oh yeah, because if you lose this key, you're you screwed. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> screw the screwed. Forget the pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's it. And then the air flows through there. And because the the deck is closed into this section, the air is gonna have to go down and get in into those air holes. That are gonna come out the slot underneath the coils. So let's put all of this back together. Man, this cotton now is a complete mess. Bad thing about this stripper is that it does not have actual a base that you can put some cotton in it. It's a bit. Mm. It's a K fun turned into a dripper. Yeah. Screw this back on. Oh, the whole thing is full of liquid everywhere. Lubrication. Yeah, there. you have to put the outer barrel first, then you'll put this one because you can take this one. Just do it quick. Put that one. That one. So, zoop. They advise you to leave the wicks on top of the screws, so when you drip, it falls on top of the screws. I think I'm mushing the cotton right now, but I don't really care. I just want to close it and actually clean it because uh, mm, mm, this thing was very. Mm. If you know what that expression means, <laughs> you're a favorite. Do you know what it means? <laughs> <laughs> there you have the X Pure. So the vampling on the small, uh, X pure, X pure, RDA, RDA, or drip or whatever way you want to call it. It is not for cloud chasing, you little mongrel. This is for flavor chasing. It is a K fun in a dripper styled thing. Yes, uh, it's a K fun in the dripper. With it's a K fun with no tank. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is is negatives about it? Let's talk about the negatives. Uh, let's say the positives first. Oh, that's a good idea, because... He, hmm, okay. Positives. Right. It Ooh. looks really nice. It does look good. It looks really good. It ma is the X pure. It matches the X cube. So they both have X's on it. They're both from Smok. 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 The drip tip is glass. Mm. What else? The airflow adjustment idea, I think, was a, is different. Now, not on, good, but different. On that basis, my favorite part of the drift, the reason why I would buy it is because, I don't know if you watched um, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb one Raider. of the Tomb Raiders, she has, has this special key to put it in, everything like unlocks and stuff. This has a special key, a triangulated, triangulated key in there, and you have to put this special key inside to harness, oh, and it locks in place, and then you can twist it to maximize the airflow or reduce the airflow and it feels like a special key only you hold it to adjust it at your flavor like can you open it it holds it out so oh, it can't get in the hole now oh the tomb raider effect has worn out oh, come on mate get in the hole mate guys technical issues i can't get this in the hole did i did i break this come on mate get in there oh got it in all right which way to the left that way max all right we got it a little negative though it's a bit small it's not very convenient. If you lose this key, you're screwed. <laughs> Get the pun. Hey. You said your opinion about the screw? I'll say mine. It's freaking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. This is, it looks good. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a it's good engineering thing. thing like, wow. Something new. About it. Yeah. It's just shite. It's stupid. 
you out in the bar. Oh, the airflow is too open. Can I close it? You have I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go out to someone. Have you got a screwdriver? No. Have you got the special triangulated? Do you have Do you have the Tomb Raider key? <laughs> <laughs> to adjust this, the so, TB. Again, we will talk about that on the negatives, but, but positive, positive. This is the negative. Oh, oh no, no, sorry, this is the positive. Well, sorry, but let me go sidetrack. So, it got a glass tip, it looked really nice on that, that comes on it. You yeah, can you put can your own uh, drip tip on it. Yeah, the threads are really smooth. It's very well machined, a gold plated 510, mm. designed by Smock CE. Do not put in the, the bin. Why? It's got no batteries in it. I don't know, do not put in the bin. Is it dead or not? It is there. Right. Positives done. And the uh, ceramic deck. <laughs> I heard it. Mm. Can I keep going? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> the old ceramic deck. Deck. Yeah. It's a good idea, but a bad one at the same time. Mm. I will tell Why you. Why are you dripping? I will tell you that. You just dripping in there. Uh, right, can we do the negatives now? You can be unleashed. Wait, wait. Oh, the positives. Do... Price. 15 pounds. 15 pounds? 15 pounds. See, that's why I'll buy it. Just for the price of it and just as another dripper slash flavor device. Let me put it this way. The only thing I like about this is the looks. Yeah. That's it. Warning, we are going to unleash a beast of negatives. So, please. Just, just bear with us. Okay, you ready? Oh my god, your nose is switching. <laughs> let me, let me just give him a bit of room to unleash. Right. Go ahead, sir. Negatives. This is the most over-engineered <laughs> dripper ever conceived by man or not man or interstellar races. Drip tip is nice, though. I'll save that. Man, put that glass to the side. This thing is just <laughs> you when you drip it. Well, you can't take this off to drip because it's it's the features of it. Was because the, the cotton moves, and then it's gonna go all over the place. It's gonna go into the air hole, and it doesn't leak out though. Hmm, give me that. Yeah, you have to really fill it up until you get to the holes. Well, that one. To leak. Leak hole. Yes. Let's start from the outside, shall we? Airflow adjustment. My God! Who was that? <laughs> had the idea of put the stupid Tomb Raider key in Great here. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even getting my pure British accent. Oh God! Oh God, Nessa! Go, Nessa! You well. can't pull the thing out. No. You have to really unscrew it out. Oh, and then that? you have this k fun thing that's supposed to add to the flavor, which it, it does not. Oh well, does not do the job. Then. I I've said this thing like a million times, and I cannot get a satisfying flavor out of it. The outer barrel, let me take this thing out. Oh, the hole that was on the back, you cannot close it. Well, you have to have a hole on it. But it was so goddamn small that there was no point of it to being there. It was in between, you can't mouth lung, you can't mouth it, or you can't lung it. It was you like... Mouth lung. If you close the other side, it was just a, a mouth lung inhale. That was it, dude. But it was too warm, like way too Probably warm. Probably it was their idea, but I'm sorry. Nah. People that buy a dripper do not want to do That top lip is so extended. <gasps> so itchy. <laughs> People that buy a dripper, they want to go... <laughs> <laughs> flavor! I think you just put pubic vapor. The ceramic deck, the screws were loose. I want to tighten it up. Not too hard because I know this is ceramic and this cracks. It ain't cracked on me. It does not break, just cracked. Can you see the crack? I can see a bum crack in it. Yes, one side and the other side. It's cracked, so it's beep. It's beeped. The airflow slots underneath the coil are too small. They need to be wider. You cannot put the, the coil in the middle or wherever you want to put it. It has to be on that freaking side. There you go. The posts are I keep trying to screw the things in, the screws are there. Or mine is just defective, or my screws are round. The freaking wire keeps jumping off. I have to really like, grab the wire. Oh my god, just stay there, stay there, stay there. And then you can't tighten it too much, otherwise you're gonna break the freaking ceramic. Then, let's put this thing on. Keep going. Uh, 
What else? Yeah, design. Sorry. Get in there. I think I've. You let it out. It's that's that's stupid. It's not worth it. The flavor is. We'll be back. Let. Dun dun dun. We're gonna. Let's have a pause while he cools down so we can have a banter. We are back. He has cooled down. Not really. Well, he's found a bit more negative as well. We're not going to get to there. But um, apart from that, this is a good mod. Like for the price and the looks of it and whatnot. It's not. It's if, terrible. If, uh, if you're t in the market, there's only drippers and wide bore. <laughs> but if you're looking for something for mouth to lung, I give it there. It, it, it's it's really flavorful, better than the K fun. Well, to a certain no. extent. To a certain extent. Is it a new style? Is it. No. <laughs> Posts are retro. They are. <laughs> Flavor is. <laughs> Airflow adjustment is. <laughs> There's no space in the deck for you to put the cotton. I have no idea where the hell to put the cotton because the whole base is a screw or a freaking slot I for the air to go yet. through. I haven't used it. I'm going to give this a go. Yeah, it's going to use it for update, a week. Uh, yeah, I'm going to update you guys later on in line in our next video. But because I have an experience, I don't want to get into his stage. If, if I get anywhere remotely close to his stage, I'll probably stop breaking it. But I'm going to give it a go and see how it goes. But as his experience... Uh, Sorry, that's absolute <laughs> There's no space for your coils. There's... I have nothing good to say about it apart from the looks. Apart from that. And it, did, it doesn't leak. From and him. you have the option to mount to lung a dripper. But there you go. From him, it's an obvious. You know the flavor when you go to those lung. vape meats or whatever to a shop and they give you this pens for you to try a really nice flavor and you get no flavor whatsoever? Because. <laughs> that was all floppy. No flavor. And then when you get home, you put it on the dripper or your tank, whatever, and the... Oh, now I can taste it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. Nothing. So, it's a definite thumbs down from him. Down, down, thumbs, foot down, butt cheeks down, everything down. I'm afraid I'm giving it a thumbs down. However, I haven't given it a full chance, so it's a thumbs down and a half. Yeah, on the on next video, which is going to be the 571L Dripper. The 571L oh. Dripper. I had to order it special from America, from the States, because apparently no one sells it here. So it's going to be in a UK exclusive. So apart from that, we are Baby Cuz. I'm Michael. I'm George. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Ciao. <laughs>